Boys and girls, it's time for history class. We hope you all are ready to do another worksheet. Hooray! I love doing worksheets. I have an idea. Let's take out our computers and look up the answers. Great idea, John. Let's cheat this. No. Don't listen to what John Lester says. Close your computers. You don't need them. Take your books out. Oh, come on, code's done. Can't we take notes instead? No notes for you today, Milk, but we still have more worksheets after this one. Come on, Michael. Stop complaining about work and just do it instead. That's right, Michael. Stop complaining about work and just do it instead. If you have any questions, raise your hand and we will come help you. I have a question. What is it, Doug? Doug, why does everyone always call me that? Anyways, the question is, can I go to the bathroom? I don't know. That's a good question. Try asking if you may go to the bathroom. May I go to the bathroom? Yes, but be back here quickly. Hey John, I have a question. What is it? Kyle. What did American business owners do to cause the outbreak of the Spanish-American War? Kyle. The answer is in the book. Shut up, Danny. Boys and girls, I am going to say this nicely one more time. Shut up. If you need help, ask me or Mr. Salt. Don't ask your neighbors, especially not John Lester. John Lester knows nothing because he's a knucklehead. I would never ask John Lester. I'm only going to use the book. Oh, come on, Zach. I'm smarter than Mr. Gunn says I am. Again, don't listen to anything John Lester says. Mr. Seldon, I have a question. What is it? I'm having trouble finding what yellow journalism was. You will have to turn to the next page to find yellow journalism. Mr. Seldon, I have a question. What is it, Danny? I'm having trouble finding information about the Delomay letter. It says it on the previous page. Thank you. Mr. Seldon, can I use your help? What's up, Zach? What happens with each of these countries after the Spanish-American War? You are on the correct page. Now read it carefully. Nicholas, can I please copy your paper? No. The book is right in front of you. And it has all the answers. Attention, boys and girls. We will be grading these papers in 10 minutes. Let's hope everyone is at least almost done. Poor Michael. He's not even halfway done. I don't feel sorry for him. It's his fault for slacking. You said it, Zach. Michael is just a milk dud. Ha! Huh. Michael just got roasted. Oh, come on. Okay, everyone. Time is up. It is now time to go over the worksheet. Awesome. I'm ready. Boys and girls, exchange papers. Can't we grade our own papers? No, you can't, John Lester. You have to trade with someone. Want to grade my paper. Sorry, Michael. But I'm already grading Lily's paper. Now I can't grade someone's paper. Hey Dakota, let's trade papers. Sure thing. Hey Zach. Do you want to trade papers? Great idea. John, do you want the two trade papers with me? No, thank you, Kyle. I'm going to grade my own paper. John Lester better not be grading his own paper. Fine. I'll switch. You happy now? I'll be happier when I send you to Mr. Bayless. No. Anything but that. Alright. Let's go over these papers. Oh no. I don't have a paper to grade. Wait Michael. I have an idea. I'll give you my paper. Give Lily your paper. And I'll grade her paper. Cool. Now let's go over the paper. Yes, but first, John Lester needs to stop talking while I'm talking. Okay. Is everybody ready? Yes. Mr. Soldin. We are ready. First question. How did American business owners cause the Spanish-American War? Whoa, they urged the American government to intervene to protect their business interests. That is correct. Is everyone ready to move on? Yes. I am ready. Jose Marti. What did he do to cause the outbreak of the Spanish-American War? He organized Cuban resistance against Spain. He also destroyed American property, including sugar plantations. This made Americans very mad. Good job. Now let's go to number three. Who was Valerio Wagner? How did he upstart the Spanish-American War? 
He didn't do anything. Wrong again, you knucklehead. I know the correct answer. He stopped the rebellion by forcing many Cubans into concentration camps. Good job, Danny. Let's go over now. Okay. Does anyone know what the Delom letter was? It was a letter that criticized President McKinley and not said many Americans. Correct. We won't let them get away with calling our president an idiot. He may be an idiot, but he's our idiot. He is our idiot, not their idiot. If you call our president an idiot, then you will be grounded for life. Now let's go over number five. What did the USS Maine do? I know. It was sent to Cuba to rescue Americans, but it blew up. People thought that the Spanish did it. That's right. But the Spanish didn't really do it. Okay. We have gone over the causes. Now let's review the effects. What happened to Cuba after the war? I don't know. John Lester never knows. I do. Cuba was finally free after the war. Good job Lily um. Now let's move on to number 8. What happened to Puerto Rico after the war? Puerto Rico became an American territory. Good job Lily. Puerto Rico did become an American territory indeed. Let's go to number 9. So easy John Lester can't do it. What happened to Guam after the Spanish-American War? I know. Just like Puerto Rico. America was also able to annex Guam. That's correct, Nicholas. Now let's go to number 10. What happened to the Philippine Islands after the war? The same thing as Puerto Rico and Guam. The Philippines became an American territory. The only difference is that the United States actually paid for the Philippines. Excellent job, Denny. Hey, we are finally finished. Not so fast, Bill Dunn. We still need to go over the backside. Oh, come on. You had to explain who George Dewey was and what he did. Then you had to tell about the Rough Riders and San Juan Hill. George Dewey was an American Commodore who ordered his men to attack the Spanish naval fleet in the Philippines. The Rough Riders were a cavalry led by Theodore Roosevelt. San Juan Hill was a battle won by the Rough Riders and the 10th Cavalry. Good job, you three. Now pass the papers back. Make sure they have a grade. And make sure it says that they were graded by. Good job everyone. Except for John and Michael. You can all go to your next class now. Thanks for the worksheet Mr. Dunn. Hey Mr. Dunn, I have a question. What is it, Milky? Are we going to take any notes tomorrow? No notes. Tomorrow we will do a math worksheet. What?